What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, AJ Adams, and I'm back with a brand new video on a brand new channel. It's been forever since I've done a video. I've been busy moving. I just got engaged. But then I felt like I didn't have enough time for it. But I'm going to try to get back into it and show y'all just some content. You know, this could be for wrestling fans, non-wrestling fans. Me personally, I'm going to try to do different videos, mixture of stuff. But it'll probably be mostly wrestling and 90s music and stuff like that. But today... I'm going to show you a couple of uh, packages I got from eBay a couple weeks ago. Anybody recognize that banner, by the way? That's the Jeff Hardy banner from the old uh, apartment. Doing this. Start a new one. Sorry, my nose is itching. But anyway, I know I probably just screwed up the camera there, but it's okay. Uh, we got two new wrestling dvds to go over i'm gonna reveal i'm probably gonna to try to do a review every couple days or i may do a couple tonight but the first one we have and i've never seen this in my opinion he was very very talented and very underrated high spot shoot interviews presents mike lockwood formerly known as the late great crash holly most people you know him from crash holly is from the wwe uh or the Irish Aaron O'Grady back in his early days, or Mad Mikey in TNA, which he done that a couple of days ago, before a couple of months before he passed away. And then the other one is from the Attitude Era, WWF SummerSlam 1999, where the main event is Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, and Mankind for the WWF title, with uh, Jesse the Body Ventura, special guest referee. First, we'll get into this one, the SummerSlam 1999. My opinion is a very good DVD. Sorry, my head. Sorry, my head is itching. Uh, well, it, like I said, in my opinion, very good DVD. It was uh, the pay per view of the late 90s, which is 1999. Unfortunately, in 1999, this 22 years ago, we lost the late great Owen Hart in Camp Arena, who. Well, if you probably know, he fell and uh, tragically lost his life in an accident. I think if Owen could have lived at this pay-per-view, it would have been a heck of a lot better. But I'm just, like I say, a very good pay-per-view. I like the cover on it. If you can see, it's got Stone Cold Steve Austin, my all-time favorite, with half of a skull with a flaming eyeballs and Jesse the Body Ventura as a referee. I don't have many WWFs. I got... Uh, WWF uh, Judgment Day 2001 Attitude Era is probably the best era for wrestling. Um, just like the Ruth's Gresh era, map, that's what I grew up on. But let's get into it. Uh, just to name off a few matches. The opening match is a title for title. You got Jeff Jarrett versus D'Lo Brown for the WWF Intercontinental and European Championship. That's a very good match for a curtain joker. For most of you that don't know what a curtain joker is, it's the opening. Very good match. Um, hardcore championship match. Al Snow with going one on one with the late great Big Boss Man. In my opinion, he's he's one of my, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of the Attitude Era. Uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. In my opinion, he's another one that should have probably had a run with. In my opinion, the WWF title, unfortunately, they never gave him that run. Just like Owen Hart. Owen Hart should have been the WWF champion in 1994, coming off the heels of WrestleMania. Should have put the title on him in SummerSlam, but that's a good match. Boss Man versus Al Snow. Very good match. It escalates into a bar. Somebody gets in the head with a pull stick. Gets a a swirly in the toilet and a urinal is good. Uh, then you got Love Her or Leave Her, the greatest street fight between Tess, who is also deceased, and uh, Shane O'Mac, Shane McMahon. That's a that was a good one. The only thing I didn't like about it was the damn 
excuse my language, the darn mean street posse come in. It's a Greenwich street fight. Anything goes. I don't like this Greenwich. I don't like the mean street posse. It was Pete Gass, Rodney, and Joey Abs. I think they were garbage. That's just my opinion. But it was 1990s. Uh, that was a that was a good match, except for that part. Uh, you had the tag team turmoil says with Edge and Christian, the Hardy Boys, Midian and Viscera, Draws and Prince Albert, the Acolytes and the Hollies. Draws unfortunately was, I'm assuming this is probably in August. Draws unfortunately was paralyzed due to a botched running powerbomb. And fortunately, by the hands of D'Lo Brown, it left him paralyzed. He can't hear nothing. He can't feel nothing from neck down. That was, I, I didn't really care. I don't really care for tag team wrestling unless it's a team I really like. If the Outlaws are in it, then heck yeah, it's going to be a good one. But that that was a good one. Uh, you had Lions Den match. Steve Blackman versus Ken Shamrock. Good. I like both of them dudes. Both of them dudes are bad to the bone. That was, that was a pretty good one. But I'm not going to name off all the matches on here. I'm just going to leave a couple of them. But that was SummerSlam uh, 1999 with the main event being Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Triple H versus Man Mankind with Jesse the Body Ventura. It's a special guest referee for the WWF title. That was a good one. And then this one is the uh, Crash Holly uh, shoot interview. Most of you know Crash Holly started out in uh early days in the eighties as uh Irish Aaron O'Grady where he was well on the indie scene and then eventually he got called up to the WWF where he was uh Crash Holly and he was a twenty two time hardcore champion. This video was this you this uh interview was um done in July twenty fifth, two thousand and three. It talks about him uh, working with Bob Holly as Hardcore Holly, uh, the twenty four seven world, uh, him getting released from WWE and um, working in ECW and stuff like that. Um, overall, I think it's a very good DVD. I think Crash Holly is another one. It's like Owen Hart, the big boss man, very. Very talented, but yet very, very underrated wrestler. He don't give the credit that he deserves, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I'm just biased because I like, you know, wrestling from back in the day. Unfortunately, Mr. Lockwood is no longer with us. Uh, I'm sorry I had to count. I forgot, but unfortunately, um, four months after... This uh, DVD or this interview was done. Uh, Mr. Lockwood uh, was out found unconscious in uh, the home of fellow professional wrestler Stephen Richards down there in Florida. And uh, from what I read, by the time that the authorities arrived to the scene, he had passed away. Um, unfortunately... He was going through rough times. His wife had just gave him divorce papers. He had just been fired from the biggest wrestling promotion on the face of the planet a couple months earlier. And uh, I guess he felt like that he couldn't continue. And uh, fortunately, his life was self-taken at the age of 34. It's sad. Uh, I won't get into all that and make you all sad. Uh, me personally, I wish he didn't do it because I... He had so much potential, but I felt like he couldn't go on. I don't know. I don't know what he was feeling, but very good DVD. Uh, but at the same time, he worked very hard to get to where he was. Um, and he, like I said, unfortunately, he was released by the WWE. I don't, I've read on some reasons why. I don't know. I think one was more of a factor than, you know, just one main thing. But like I said, unfortunately, he is no longer with us, and he had, his life was self-taken on uh, November 6, 2003, in Florida. Very good DVD. He's straightforward with questions, and he don't BS or nothing like that, man. Uh, his career started in 1989. He didn't get to WWE till 
1999, so it took him 10 years to get to the WWF at the time. And he was a uh, Hardcore Hollies uh, kayfabe uh, cousin. He was called the Hollies. And he was, like I said, he was a lightweight champion, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he's European champion. But uh, he was a 22-time Hardcore champion, a one-time tag team champion with Hardcore Holly. Hardcore still alive, so that's good. But like I said, unfortunately, Crash is no longer with us. But a very good DVD. Um, but that's all I have on that one for right now. I may do another one here in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, um, I've been very fortunate to own a lot of these. I like wrestling since I was a kid. It's my first love, actually. Been, been very blessed in this life. I can't, you know. I don't know if y'all are religious, not to change the subject, but I mean, I'm not the best person, but I do believe in God. And without him, I wouldn't have none of this. I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So thank the Lord for what he's done and thank him, thank him for letting me wake up, see another day and continue to do what I do. And hopefully I can entertain y'all best way I can. Stay classy.